Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. A strong area of low pressure is working across the North Slope communities around Ukiavik to Wainwright and eastward Prudhoe Bay and Dead Horse today. A 987 millibar low, slinging areas of snow and some strong west and northwesterly winds through the region. A high surf advisory continues for the northern Arctic coast, as well as winter weather advisories there. The high surf advisory for four to six foot seas that could be uh, breaking close to the coastline and uh, above normal high tide. As we look at the rest of the night, it looks like periods of rain and snow may be possible in some parts of the northern Arctic coast. Don't be surprised to see a little bit of freezing rain there. Uh, any snow amounts should be generally light through the rest of the period. Periods of light rain and snow may still be possible around the Deltana and Tanana Flats region as well in the eastern Alaska range as we go through tonight. All of that weather from north to south should be improving as we go into the overnight hours. Colder air is working in across the north slope, and as we go into tomorrow, the winds will gradually settle down, but colder air will be filtering in fairly quickly as we get into your Thursday and Friday. A look to the south and west shows low pressure well south and west of Kodiak Island and generally south of Nikolsky and Unalaska Dutch Harbor. That's about 988 millibars, pushing a front into the southern Bering Sea and wrapping in some stronger winds around Kodiak and Bristol Bay. Looks for, look for areas of light rainfall and plenty of cloud cover as we go into your Thursday Halloween day. Periods of light rainfall expected across the Kenai Peninsula and into Prince William Sound. Most of the mountains will be looking at some light snowfall there, including areas toward Yakutat and above. Watching for some light rain and snow push, pushing through northern parts of southeast. Uh, looks like most of that will stay offshore with plenty of cloud cover working inland. High pressure is anchored uh, across the western end of British Columbia at 1,031 millibars. That should keep plenty of dry air across the panhandle as we move toward the end of the week. In the meantime, plenty of cold air is working into the interior with a clearing sky for Thursday morning and lasting into uh, a good chunk of Friday there. Temperatures will be significantly cooler across areas north of the Yukon Valley. Across southwest, clouds and moisture will keep temperatures on the milder side there. A 1,008 millibar low works its way up toward Bethel and just south, with periods of rain and snow showers expected across a large part of the YK Delta. Areas of light snow will continue across central and eastern parts of the southern interior, with rainfall across the Gulf Coast communities. Uh, showers expected around Kodiak, with rain across northern parts of southeast. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime.